Shurnukh, in the southern region of Sunik, is a lowly Armenian village that has gained national interest. Once far from the border, the Second Karabakh War has rendered it a frontier village. When on the road to Shurnukh, one can spot Armenian, Russian and Azerbaijani flags, accompanied by the soldiers of these three nations. Despite the circumstances, the villagers have erected a 30-meter-high flagpole to signify the Armenian presence in the area. On March 7th, people came to Shurnukh to witness the flag raising. This is the highest point in our village, thus the flag should be here. If one comes across 20 to 30 Azerbaijani flags on the road, people may become morally or psychologically impacted. This flag will encourage our people and give hope and faith. Shurnukh was founded in 1930. At first, it had 351 inhabitants, and until 1989, the village was mostly inhabited by Azerbaijanis. After the First Karabakh War, many Armenians moved to the village. The village has been all over the headlines, when in accordance with the November 9th agreement, the terrain of the village which crossed over into what was formerly Soviet Azerbaijan was handed over. This terrain included 12 houses, which are now unreachable. Despite this, some still have hope for the future. Our national solidarity imperative implies that we'll come out of the situation with a new government and now return to the old one. But aside from politics and geopolitics, the residents of Shunuch have more immediate concerns. The main road is derelict and needs repair. There are also issues with the supply of water. We have no road, no gas supply. Cars and taxis have trouble reaching the village because of the absence of a road. Irrigation water only reaches the upper part of the village. I don't know whether the water system is jammed or doesn't function at all. And now there is a more pressing issue. From Shurnukh, the flags and soldiers of Azerbaijan are clearly visible. This has left many worried about their safety. Thus, some have been echoing a call for border village inhabitants to carry firearms. Give me firearms. I'll stand guard at night. Let me always have it. The kids are asleep at night. What can I do? I am afraid the Azerbaijanis might come. 